So ergonomic design is user centered. So you have to consider the three aspects in, in ergonomic design, the user, the product, or if, if it could be other than the product, it could be workplace, it could be information as well, and the task that is to be performed. So all these three have to be considered. Who will use the characteristics of the users? the characteristics of the task and uh, the product the workplace or information through which that task will be performed. So you can see the arrow are two headed. So you have to two and four consider these three aspects and eventually design the product or whatever you are going to design. So if an object, a system or an environment is intended for human use, then its design should be based upon the physical and mental characteristics of its human users. In so much as these may be determined by the investigation methods of the empirical sciences. So this is very obvious that if you are designing something for human use, then its design should be based upon the physical and mental characteristics of its human users. And in order to make sure uh, that this is happening, you may need investigative methods of empirical sciences. That simply means that you may have to get data about the users through, for example, surveys or maybe through interviews, maybe through simple observations. And sometimes uh, using experiments and you see that your knowledge of design of experiments will uh, also be discussed somewhere in this course. So empirical means you need real data actually using surveys, interviews, observations, experiments, so that that design is actually user centered. So just uh, two cartoons to, to to discuss the idea of what ergonomic design is. So kid is asking daddy, what is ergonomics? And the answer is it's making children tall enough not to have dads bend so much. So it is also giving a very important message that actually whatever uh, you are interacting with tools or equipment should be so that they don't uh, uh, they, they don't uh, exert too much stress on the user and there is a physical stress, physiological or mental stress. Another cartoon is of Mr. Simpsons. So you can see that everything is according to the, to the requirements of the user. So for example, the location of this tub, for example, height of this uh, uh, table is according to his elbow height, the location is according to the position of his feet, there is the water in this, that tub, uh, and the position of these arm rest is according to uh, the exact location of his arms, the position of, for example, television is right in front of his eyes, and the rest of the things that you can observe. So again, this is a, this is a cartoon, but just giving the idea that ergonomics helps to adapt jobs to the people who, who perform them. So goal of ergonomics is to make the work fit the operator, not to make the operator fit the work. So in other words, this is actually ergonomics defined in one line. The one line definition ergonomics, you fit the job to the man rather than fit the man to the job. And the word job here means of course, not only the workplace, but anything that the person interacts with them that you're designing from them. 